What's up, YouTube? This is Miguji Crypto. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin, specifically BTC slash USDT. And I'm going to be doing a complete analysis on Bitcoin. We, in fact, had a small little crash of about 3.5% in the last three hours. We're going to analyze this and we're going to try to determine what's going to happen in the next few days for Bitcoin. So, if this sounds interesting, let's get started. Before I get started, I would like to let you know if you haven't already subscribed, do hit the subscribe button because I do make these videos on a daily basis and these videos are designed specifically to help out the viewers over here. As well as I do offer a service and this service is, is Patreon, it is in my description below. On the Patreon what I do over here is uh, we have a chat of traders that have years and years of experience. As well as any trade I get into over here, I call out before I get into it. So far, my ratio is 10 wins and one loss. In fact, today I did call out a trade. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get into today's trade because I was a little busy. But I did call out this trade over here. And uh, of course, this was the result, as you guys are already aware of, where we called out a short over here and a back test of this rising wedge. We had a back test, we had a short, and the members should have made if they got into the trade at that moment of time, uh, 4%, 38 to 4%. Also, what I do over here is any old coins you want me to take a look at every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I do technical analysis on all coins. And I also teach technical analysis as well. My educational video section, I have about 14 videos up and I'm trying to increase this to about 50 videos or so. Now, let's talk about BTC and let's talk about the health of BTC. And we'll start this on every single time frame. To get a better understanding of what's currently happening so on that note let's get started now we understand that btc has made this big impulse move towards the upside and now we are having this retracement towards the downside i pointed this out many times in the past i pointed out the fact that right now we are trying to back test the 618 the 618 on the fibonacci is seen right over here to be exact so from this swing low to that swing high we understand that the 618 of the fibonacci is seen right over here the 618 is currently seen at $30,000. We have in fact broken underneath the 618. We haven't yet closed underneath the 618, however, and we still have another 11 days and 18 hours remaining for a closure. The last two times we hit the 618, we had a bounce with a wick, we had a bounce with a wick. There is still time to determine whether or not we close underneath this region. If we do close underneath this region, this is not so good for BTC because our next zone, if we were to close underneath this region, would be the 786 based off the Fibonacci. And that's coming in at 21,340. If I use this swing low to that swing high over here, we can find out our next area, which is our next 618 from the lower swing low to the swing high. And our next area of support that we'll have some sort of reaction towards is exactly at 27,262. So above us, we're breaking underneath a support zone, which is now possibly turning into resistance. And below us, we have a support zone right now. And that support zone is coming in at $27,262 per BTC. On the weekly aspect, if I go down to the weekly aspect, we can see a few things. We can see that BTC was making structure over here. We are broken underneath the structure. And I point out the structure over here, showing you guys a simple uh, demand zone. So this area was an area of demand. And what I mean by an area of demand is an area where large institutions like to short. We see over here, or long, we see over here we had wicks at these areas. In fact, we had eight days of wicks, weeks of wicks over and over and over again until the longs over here could no longer be sustained and we finally broke underneath the structure and we had a break underneath the structure which is seen right over here not only did we break underneath the demand zone which is a zone of support essentially but we've also broken underneath a 50 moving average and this 50 moving average on the weekly aspect was now going to act as resistance to push the price down so every time we were above the 50 moving average you'd want to look for longs now that we're underneath the 50 moving average on the weekly aspect you'll want to look for more shorts. So we are quite bearish for BTC because again, we've broken underneath a major demand zone or a slash a support zone as seen over here. We've broken underneath the 50 moving average. We've also broken underneath a 618 on the monthly aspect, which is seen as this yellow line over here. I'll try to go down to the smaller time frames to get a better understanding of what's currently happening. And I'll mark off more and more structure over here to give us a better understanding of what's happening. So right now, if I take a look at BTC, we can see right now that BTC is making structure. This is our structure, this type of descending structure towards the downside with the two channels, essentially one above, one below, 
hitting the structure at the bottom, bouncing towards the top, bouncing back and forth like a ping pong ball back and forth. We are underneath the 618. We haven't yet quite come down and touched this trend line. We're going to try to determine our target or our potential target that we can come down to for BTC. And right now, our potential target for BTC is seen right over here, which is seen as the target of this symmetrical wedge structure. We made the symmetrical wedge structure. We, in fact, came back up and we back tested the symmetrical wedge structure. After back testing the symmetrical wedge structure, we had this move towards the downside. Our target for the symmetrical wedge structure is the height. Of the actual wedge which is seen like so and you could take this and put it at the area to break out and right now the target for this btc symmetrical wedge is coming at around twenty eight thousand nine hundred and seventy one which in fact coincides very nicely with the bottom of this channel over here so we still haven't come down and yet quite yet hit our structure will we come down immediately or will we have a back test before potentially coming back down and this is yet to be determined if I pull out the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve, we can see a few things. This yellow line on the BTC logarithmic growth curve is a line of significance. Every single time we broke underneath this yellow line, we've hit the bottom structure with the lower white line. Over here as well, we broke underneath, we hit the lower white line when we broke underneath the 23.61, which again is a line of significance. Over here, we had a quick wick above to hold it as support. And over here again we came underneath this is not quite a good example but we have examples in the past so this line over here this yellow line in fact is an area that we've broken underneath as well we haven't closed daily candlesticks underneath it neither have we closed weekly candlesticks underneath it either so there is still a possibility for us to wick above this yellow line which is the 23.61 of the fibonacci and possibly hold it as support like we have over here where we wicked on it and we had a big bounce towards the upside same scenario we can possibly wick over here and have a bounce towards the upside we still have 17 hours and 51 minutes to determine whether or not we will close underneath the 23.61 of the bitcoin logarithmic growth curve so we still have to decide whether or not this is possible or not so now i'll try to understand structure and what structure we essentially made towards the downside and our structure that we essentially made towards the downside is this type of falling wedge structure. If I pick, take this and I place it towards the upside over here and place this a little bit tighter, we had this type of falling wedge structure towards the downside, which is seen something like this. In fact, I can bring it out over here, right? We had this type of wedge structure where we had BTC falling towards the downside, getting squeezed, and then eventually we ended up breaking underneath this falling wedge. So we'll talk about a potential pullback right now for BTC and I'll go down to the four hourly chart to better understand this. So we have broken underneath the 23.61 of the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve, which is seen as this yellow line over here. We're underneath the 618 on the monthly aspect that I pointed out already, which is seen as this line at $30,500, which is seen up over there. We're underneath this falling wedge structure, which is seen as this descending trend line and that descending trend line. We're underneath a support zone, which is now turned into a resistance zone that is seen on the left hand side over here that has significance over here. So we're underneath quite a lot of structures and we're underneath quite a lot of structures that does have a tendency to push the price towards the downside. So obviously we'll have to look at shorts because we're quite bearish. So it doesn't really make sense to look at longs. And as of right now, I'd say a move towards the downside or a back test would be possible. One of these two scenarios, if we do have a back test, we'll be back testing major resistance, which is the 618 on the monthly aspect, as well as a resistance area over here, as well as this descending trend line of this wedge structure. So if we do back test this area, we'll have to look for shorts upon the back test if we have rejection, or we come straight down now and finish our movements, which again would be the height of the wedge structure that I pointed out on the daily aspect. So we have to yet see as to what BTC will do in the next few days. And depending upon what it does, we will have to see. If we break underneath the structure, this trend line, our next obvious target would be 27,342. So we'll have to see, right? And uh, as of now, all we can do is react to our price action. And based on our reactions, we can benefit from this on the Patreon. If you guys are on the Patreon, otherwise, uh, 
we will go with the flow and see how we can move make money with the movements the sporadic movements of btc okay so thank you for watching thank you and have a good one